All right, so we're here in the desert, but everything's super duper flooded. Pretty sure the water crystal's here, and we can't talk to the manager of the market because he won't see us. So we're going up this way to, I don't know, the king, I think. Princess Gloria, it is a great relief to see you safe and well. I am sorry if I caused you any undue concern, Prince Castor. Please, there is no need to apologize. If I might ask, what became of you after the fall of your kingdom? It is rather a long story, I'm afraid. And so, we find ourselves here today. You believe Savalon's current troubles to have been caused by the water crystal? I do, and I wondered if your honored father might know anything that could help us in investigating the matter further. Your Highness, permit me to offer my deepest sympathies for all that has befallen you. Alas, our own realm is currently suffering grave troubles of its own. It saddens me to say this, but we are unable to offer any assistance. Silence. That is not your decision to make. You must forgive Dromed his presumption. While his official title is that of record keeper to the court, he also serves in an unofficial capacity as an advisor. And what he says is not without truth. Our current situation is not a pleasant one. My honored father, the king, his, his whereabouts are currently unknown. Goodness, have you any idea what might have happened to him? Sadly not. We had thought that he might have been kidnapped, but we have received neither a ransom demand nor contact of any other kind. We have also tried to notify my younger brother, Pollux, but since setting off on his tour of the nations of the world, he remains unreachable. The Council of Elders has been satisfied thus far with our tales of sudden sickness, but it is only a matter of time before they begin asking questions. I am ever so sorry. I pray with all my heart that he will be returned to you soon. You are too kind. Princess Gloria, I will confer with the Council on the matter of the Water Crystal. Perhaps one of the Elders will know something. That would be great, wouldn't it, Gloria? You dare interject, servant! Have you no shame? Oh, you misunderstand, Prince Castor. My friend here is no servant. He is a companion and trusted ally. I owe him my life. Hmm? Friend? Companion? A lowly commoner? Oh, come now, your highness. If you continue to insult my comrades, I fear I shall have no choice but to take offense. Offense? And what? He is a commoner, is he not? I merely call a spade a spade. Prince Castor. Ahem. <clears throat> Forgive me, your highness. I spoke out of turn. Now, to return to the matter at hand. Dromed. The city's various districts began to fill with water at different times, but it seems... The trouble first began around three years ago. Three years? And was it not three years ago that Musa was attacked? The Council will be assembling shortly. We must consult with them on this matter right away. Please, if you would bear with us until then. Of course, Your Highness. Forgive the wait, Your Highness. Allow me to introduce Elders Cygnus and Bernard, right honorable members of the Council. Cygnus, Minister of Commerce at your service. A pleasure to make your acquaintance, Princess Gloria. Bernard, Master of the Gaming Hall. It is an They definitely honor look like asterisks highness. holders. Prince Castor informs us that you seek knowledge of the water crystal. We do indeed. I suspect that it might be the cause of the city having filled up with water. Might you know anything of such a connection? Alas, the cause is somewhat more prosaic than that, Your Highness. I am afraid my men made a rather critical blunder while digging an underground waterway. In fact, you find us having just emerged from an emergency council meeting on that very subject. And a very productive meeting it was, too. I must commend you on your ready acceptance of responsibility, Lord Bernard. To have offered to help in writing the mistake is further proof, if such were needed, of your unimpeachable character. 
This man is no crystal thief, your highness. You have my personal guarantee of that. You honor me, Lady Sigma. Now, we must be getting on. The proposed countermeasures will require considerable planning if they are to go ahead. If you will excuse us. Well, I guess what they're saying makes sense. Perhaps. But if Bernard's waterways truly are the reason for the flooding, then there is one thing that strikes me as... somewhat convenient. The gaming hall. His gaming hall is one of the few places not afflicted, despite the vast quantities of water it uses. Hmm. Perhaps we had better go and take a look. You will allow me to accompany you, I trust. If one of my subjects truly is connected to the disappearance of your kingdom's treasures, as a friend and ally, I cannot stand idly by. Your help will be much appreciated, your highness. And besides, I somewhat doubt the ability of this rabble to protect you. You are of noble birth, Lady Gloria. To associate so freely with the lowborn is... Prince Castor. Of course, Your Highness. Now is not the time to be casting aspersions on the quality of your companions. I hope you can all forgive me, and that I might prove to be of assistance. I hope so too, Prince Castor. All right. Looks like we're headed for the gaming hall. It is interesting to me how often I get traveling companions. Ooh, quest. Well, I mean, if you despise them, I guess I can take them out. I see. I see so. Whoa, hello. Like I should be able to go that way. But I guess I'll just go this way. Whoop! Quest. Hi. The boy who likes books. I think he's in the other town. quest. Someone! Please! You must help! What's the matter, sir? The, the one-eyed creature. It, it attacked us. A one-eyed creature? Yes. I escaped and came to seek help. But, but my friend is still in danger. Please. You must help him. We would be glad to. Would we not? Yeah, of course. You would? Just leave it to us. You go tell the city guard about what happened, okay? Very well. And thank you. It sounds as if we need to hurry. Let's do some side quests.
actually works in our side. Guess it's my turn. That's that quest done. Large one eyed monster. Oops. I have enough room to go around. <laughs> You're in for a treat. Okay then. Just gonna sit there, I guess I'll beat you up. We must make the most of this opportunity. Hmm. What's the plan? should actually tent so that I have MP.
Come on, then. Let's have it. To arms. Yes, yes my might are. knows no bounds. Your days are numbered. All might be thunder. Your tail is another foe vanquished. Hmm. What's the plan? Alright, who's next? Too easy. <laughs> So it is sending you back to the first town. I was wondering if that was it. It's okay. It's fun to walk through that little valley. Alright, I got two things to drop off here. I have to give someone a dress, and I have to find a book. Alright, here's your dress. This time we'll fast travel. <laughs> the music in this game is fantastic. Archers. What a twat. Right, this way for the archers. And there was the, the one eyed thing in the desert I needed to kill. Get yourself to safety. 
We'll deal with the monster. Th thank you. This must be the one-eyed creature that man was referring to. Well, its reign of terror is about to come to an end. This should be fun. My father once told me that he too was attacked by an Araman while visiting these parts. King Orion himself came to his aid. That was the beginning of the close bond between our two kingdoms. Savalon was suffering from a severe drought at the time. My father offered to return the favor by trying to help solve the water shortage. And that was how the idea for a new network of waterways beneath the city was born. No way. The people of Savalon have always thought the Araman to be a harbinger of calamity. But that fortune smiles on whoever can defeat one. I guess things are looking up for us then. I certainly hope so. Now, let's get back to the city and make sure everyone got home safely. Alright, turn this in and then... Not to side quests, do the actual story. You're alive! Oh, thank the heavens! We have been so terribly worried. You saved my friend's life. How can we ever repay you? Oh, don't be silly. It was our pleasure. Forgive me, but are you Princess Gloria of Musa? I am, yes. Have we met somewhere before? Yes, Your Highness. About five years ago, you came to watch the soldiers practice their swordplay at the palace. I was among the ranks that day. Sword practice? Oh, yes. It was honor enough to be in your august presence, Your Highness. Little did I know that further honor awaited me. If I recall correctly, you were not content merely to watch and announced that you would participate. We soldiers were rather flustered. What if one of us were to injure a visiting royal? But you were not to be deterred, Your Highness. You strode out and immediately challenged the largest, strongest swordsman present and refused to back down. <laughs> I'd like to have seen that. A member of the royal line must be prepared to fight on the front line should circumstances require it. And any army would give its all with one such as you at its head, Your Highness. We will ensure that all know it was by your hand that the Arryman fell. We are forever in your debt. Cute. She's famous.
Oh, Elvis. All right, over here to the gaming hall. Hey, good morning, Tam. I am enjoying this game a lot. Whoa. I never expected to see a fountain like that in the middle of the desert. Me neither. Talk about decadent. Not that I mind a little luxury, but you can have too much of a good thing. Oft. It's been no expense in deck in this place, here, that's for sure. Prince Caster. To what do we owe this inestimable pleasure? Well, might I ask what brings you here, your highness? Princess Gloria was taking a tour of the city. I thought it would be rude not to offer to accompany her. Ah, the life of a prince is a hard one, is it not? But I am forgetting myself. Allow me to introduce Annie Hale. The rustic charms of her performing menagerie have been entertaining our clientele of late. You will have to forgive her. In dismal manners, I found her wandering the wilds, and it seems her upbringing was far from civilized. <laughs> but tell me, Princess Gloria, how goes the search for the water crystal? We haven't found it yet, but we will. You can be sure of that. <laughs> oh, I do admire your optimism, but I can't help feeling that you'll never find it, no matter how hard you search. What would it take to convince you that it was not in Savalon, I wonder? An official edict to that effect from the prince, perhaps? I doubt it. Not that I don't trust his highness, of course, but I would prefer to confirm it for myself. After all, thieves have a habit of hiding things rather well, don't you find? <laughs> well then, far be it from me to hinder you in your search. But please, do take care. Now, if you'll excuse me. Well, no offense to our new friend, but I can't help thinking he's got something to hide. Bernard's story is certainly impressive. He built the gaming hall and earned himself a place on the Council of Elders, and all in the space of a few years. There were certain rumors, of course, but what newly made man is not dogged by the chatterings of the jealous. All the more reason to suspect him, says I. There's no smoke without fire. Maybe that minstrel can tell us something. Orpheus, was it? Couldn't hurt to ask. Is there anything you can tell us about him first, Gloria? Well, if I were being kind, I might describe him as committed to his craft. If I were feeling less generous, I'd say he was a raving egomaniac. <laughs> Remind me not to get on your bad side. But that's good to know. We might be able to use it to our advantage. Let's track him down and see, shall we? Oh, are you going to pick up Monster of Nox after watching me th play through it, Tam? I think you'll like it. I had a lot of fun with it.
It's him. Orpheus, where are you going? Whoa, why are you trying to pin me down? I'm a seeker, man, a poet. I go where the muse takes me. Wherever the wind blows, whenever the spirit moves me, that's my destination, baby. Uh-huh. So, where are you going? Oh, I'm wasted on you, you know that. Anyway, I don't have to tell you anything. Ugh, you're impossible. Fine. I'm off to the sand-swept ruins to bring a certain very special story to an end. Go on, go running off to Bernard and tell him like I knew you will. Okay. Jeez, I know better than anybody that a true artist needs dedicated fans, but why does Bernard keep the kid around? Loyalty is good and everything, but that kind of puppy dog stuff could really cramp a guy's style. Hmm? Well, look who it is. Ahem. <clears throat> oh, she's the tragic princess of a long lost land. And she cries a river while she stomps the sand. Will her crystal questing ever reach an end? Or will she die for duty here without a friend? Ooh, yeah. You gotta love the sad ones. That's a classic in the making and no mistake. Oh, hey, Princess Gloria. I didn't see you there. Listen, I've got a dash, but I'd love to talk to you sometime about what it feels like to lose an entire kingdom. It'd make one heck of a song. <laughs> He knew we were here. He certainly did. And judging by his song, he knows something about the crystals, too. You don't get the feeling he's leading us a little by the nose. So what if he is? No harm in playing along, right? Then, when we get the chance, we turn the tables and squeeze him for everything he knows. Prince Custer, do you know the place he mentioned? Yes. The ruins are to the south of the city. I will lead the way. This was the place that I stumbled into. A great city once stood here. Before these lands fell to the sand, war and deforestation laid waste to what was once green and pleasant. So the desert came to be. Our ancestors were foolish indeed. These sun-scorched sands are no place to make a life. If only there were water in abundance. How many times I've dreamed of it. Prince Custer. Forgive me. This is neither the time nor the place. We must focus on the task at hand. Finding Orpheus.
need. One quick second. Unfortunately, it's been a crazy week. I've been very busy with work, and I really wanted to stream today, but every once in a while I might have to stop and do a little bit of work. Spell type, I don't have it. Hey, no big deal. Huh. Oh, nothing to worry about. Huh. All right, bow and stave and wind and light. Okay. I'm going all in! I'm getting a lot of throwing sticks on this. I'm start using those. Ow! A mere scratch. Let me see. Your days are numbered. Heed my call. We must not hold ah, until we all have our weakness. Ah, right, let's see. Ah, all right, ah. yeah. ah. 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 that'll do nicely. I cannot be defeated. Earth mallet. Whoa, I should put that on someone.
I didn't see whatever I ran into. We won't be going easy on you. That's an insect. Try this for size. Yeah. Try this yeah. for size. Try this for size. Okay, what's the plan? Let me see. Wonderful. Your tail and your skin. Cake. <laughs> hey, thanks for the follow, Olan. I must have gotten that spear from um, a powerful monster or something. Because, yeah, it's been better than anything else for quite a while now. That was a big hole in the ground that I just randomly walked into. Watch out, guys.
I have multiple pictures of her in there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, she's upside down at the moment. To the left. Hey, don't walk in front of me. I have to stop streaming for a minute to go kick Chris's ass. sword right now. Okay. You can have a sword right now. Is it time for a new asterisk? Folks, please welcome to the stage the incomparable talent that is Princess Gloria. Your Highness, I'd like to take this opportunity to play you something really special. My latest and greatest masterwork. It's about a lone hero who goes through hell after being chased from his homeland, but who finally, at long, long last, gets his chance at vengeance. So, Gloria, if you'd care to join me, you know the words, I'll teach you the tune. I will play no part in this farce, Orpheus. Whoa, farce! This is no such thing. You know how long I've had to wait for this. It's nothing short of a tragedy. And a revenge tragedy at that! Ah, oh, sweet, sweet retribution! What are you even talking about? Retribution for what, exactly? You were outed as a dirty wee embezzler and banished for your crimes! <laughs> You've only got yourself to blame for that, pal! Shut up! Shut up! Shut up! Shut up! You don't know my life! You don't know how hard it's been! I'll never forget what was done to me. Never! And now, I finally got my chance for revenge. I'm going to take it. And there's nothing anyone can do to stop me. So shut up and die! Do you have... Any idea what I've been through since I got kicked out of Musa? Drinking ditch water like an animal, crawling around like an insect because I was too hungry to stand. Do you ever stop to think about that, Princess? Can you even imagine it? Because I'll never forget it. That's for sure. Never. All that pain, all that suffering. That's what turned me into the tortured artist you see before you today. Here I go. Mm. 
Alright. Okay, I'm going all in. Whoa, 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 controller. Alright. First. I scanned everything except for this. Oh, 
Enjoy. 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 Guess it's my turn. to the pain that burns inside my soul. I'm going to channel it all into my work. That's how masterpieces are born. Time for you to bow out, princess. There's only one starring role in this production. Oh, stop it. Enjoy. 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 That's it. I hope but this I shows you the error of 
Enjoy, 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 enjoy. Denied my revenge after all I've done. Oh, I hate my life. Oh, spare us. Now, where is the crystal? You think I'm just going to tell you? Yes, unless you'd prefer me to crush your throat so that you'd never be able to moan about how hard your life is again. Or sing, for that matter. N no, no, I'll tell you, I'll tell you. Bernard has it. Something went wrong when he tried to use it, and he flooded the city. So it was him, after all. The fool. And where is it now? I, I, I don't know. I, I don't know where he hid it. He only told me that he had it, I promise. So, after all your big talk, you basically don't know anything. It doesn't surprise me. I wouldn't tell this weasel my secrets, either. Still, we know Bernard has it now, at least. And, with another asterisk to boot. Ha ha! What do we have here? The crowd's getting ugly, Lord Bernard. They're asking for you to put in a special guest appearance. Hmm. I'm very annoying of them. Deal with it, will you? I don't care how, just get it done. Your wish is my command. What was that? How did you... But no one could have... Whatever. Looks like it's now or never. <coughs> what the? <laughs> Caught you napping? You should know by now I'm always ready to make a dramatic exit. Orpheus! Later, losers. Catch you on the flip side. Forget him for now. My men will apprehend him soon enough. I... I owe you all an apology. Huh? My behavior towards you back at the palace was... unforgivable. Having seen you fight, I realize now how blind I've been. Hey, no need to go overboard. We didn't take it personally. You are more kind to me than I deserve. Hey, Elvis, what was that we saw before? When your book glowed up like that? Well, I told you it reacts to asterisks, didn't I? The ones we got our hands on in Halcyonia helped me read a little more of the writing inside it. But this time, we seem to have been shown something from the past of the Asterisk's previous owner instead. I, I, I've no idea why, though, so don't go asking me to conjure up visions at will. And I guess that means we're no wiser than we were before, right? But no less wise either, eh? And that's the whole point of traveling the world in search of knowledge. To keep putting the pieces together until it all finally makes sense. <sighs> I suppose you're right. What? A bird. Is something the matter? Uh, no. <laughs> it's nothing.
Alright. It's level five. Alright. Alright, alright, alright. So that means you are gonna be my first bard. Elvis looking so dapper as a bard. Oops, got you close. The way to open gets stuck in. You rang? You better be ready for this! Let me see. Dead weak to lightning. Okay then. Okay. Oh, I'm going all in. Yep. 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 No big deal.
get the rest of the treasures in here offline. Bernard? How many times? Not while I'm eating. The smell of you is enough to turn a man's stomach. Oh, awful feral creature. But... I have just taken delivery of a simply divine vintage. Do not disturb me. Unless, that is, you wish to return to the squalor from which you came. Sorry. Fine clothes, fine music, and fine food and drink. What else does a man live for? How else can one revel in the glory of existence? I... I'm sorry. Please don't send me away. Oh, stop fretting, you foolish child. Shut up and do as I say, and all will be just as it this should This guy is terrible. Okay. There's a good girl. Anyway, I've finished now. Make your report. Orpheus attacked the princess as you ordered, but he was beaten and now he's run away. <laughs> Pathetic. I had thought his history with the royal nuisance would be sufficient to spur him on, but it seems not. Very well, you may leave. And what to do now, I wonder? I suppose the first order of business will be a little chat with a certain interested party. I will be right back. I hadn't grabbed any of my medication for the day, so I needed to do that. Okie dokie. Back to town. Just in case we have another battle going inside the city. Prince Castor, I have been looking for you everywhere. 
And now you have found me. Princess Gloria, I must insist that you refrain from taking the prince out of the city without notifying the relevant authorities. I was not taken anywhere, Dromed. I went of my own free will. Your Highness, whilst I understand your desire to aid our nation's allies, might I remind you that Musa is no more. There is precious little benefit to be gained from spending your valuable time on lost causes. Whoa! Aren't you highborn people supposed to be polite? I am simply stating the truth. Musa may be no more, Dromed, but our duty to Princess Gloria is very much alive and well. Her Highness and her friends will remain until such time as they have ascertained the truth of the situation regarding the crystal. And during that time, they will continue to be our honored guests. But, 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 uh, as you wish, Your Highness. But please, I must beg you to conclude your dealings here quickly, Princess Gloria, for Savarin's sake. When your business here is done, Prince Custer, you are needed at the palace. Can't say I'm feeling too welcome right now. Well, you can hardly blame them for not wanting the prince bogged down with our business. Uh, the king is missing after all. Dromid means well, I assure you. Forgive him. Oh, please. It's entirely understandable. I'm sure I would feel exactly the same in his position. You are too kind as ever, Your Highness. You know, I get the feeling that our distracting the prince isn't all that Dromed's worried about. It seems to me that he has another reason for wanting us out of the way. I cannot begin to imagine what else might be on his mind. But I will ask him, if it makes you feel better. For now, I must return to the palace. I will rejoin you when my business there is concluded. Being a prince must be hard work. Not that we have it easy, I guess. Aye. Someone tells me Bernard's not going to be telling us where he's hidden this crystal without some arm twisting. Perhaps his companion can help us. The girl. Yeah. What was her name again? Annie Hell? Yes, that was it. Let's see if we can track her down. Side quests. Oh, large JP orb. Everything okay, Adele? I'm fine. I just wish I could say the same about my shoes. Yeah, looks like they've seen better days. <laughs> you should get some new ones. I know. But these are, well, What's up with you two, eh? What are you both staring at? Crikey! The stare of your shoes, Adele! They look like a hungry goblin's had a munch on them! Hey! Don't say that! These are the shoes you... Wait... I passed a wee footwear emporium not long back. You can get a new pair from there. Well, it's a classy place, though. I'll tell you what, I'll go on ahead and smooth the way. Hey! Wait! Elvis! Elvis? Oh, why do you never listen? Uh, guys? Hey, look! Just feed him well, and he'll be fine. Thank you so much for helping him. What are you doing? Get away from my daughter! I told you not to go near her! Away with you! Go on, get out of here! Hey, there's no need to talk to her like that! Hmm? And who are you exactly? It doesn't matter who I am. She helped your dog. The least you can do is thank her. I did not ask for her help, and I am not in the habit of thanking vagrants. Come, we are leaving. Uh, all right. You okay? I'm fine. You're the one from 
before. Yep. Good to see you again. You want to tell me what just happened? I was born into a traveling circus. I've only been in the city since Bernard took me in. They don't like me here. They call me Vagrant. Outsider. Well, it can take time to settle in somewhere new. It's the same for everyone. I know. At least they let me live here. Thanks for sticking up for me. Bye. Wait. What is it? We... We're looking for something. That's why we're here in Savalon. We were wondering if we might ask you a question or two. Okay. Can we do it at my house? I have to feed everyone. Huh? Feed everyone? This is my house. You... you keep monsters? This is the everyone you were talking about? Yes. It's their dinner time. Come on, little ones. Din-dins. What? Here, Bernie. Ah, oh, you must be hungry. <laughs> what is it? N uh, nothing. Better not tell her I was worried we were the Dindins. So, you live with a bunch of animals and monsters, huh? I've had them all since I was in the circus. Our caravans were attacked by bandits when we came near the city. My friends here protected me. That's how I managed to survive. I was the only one. I... I'm so sorry to hear that. It's not so bad. Now I have Bernard. He lets me work at the gaming hall. And he lets me live here with my friends. The money he gives me helps me look after them all. I don't know what I'd do if he ever sent me away. And why would he do that? I don't know. That's just what he says. If I ever let him down, he'll get rid of me. That's horrible. You're not some thing he can just cast aside? He's allowed. He's the one who saved me. Wow. You said you were looking for something. Yes. It's a blue jewel, about this big. The crystal. You know what it is? Yes. You do? Really? Please, tell us everything you know. Any information you can give us is sure to prove useful. I... I'm sorry. I can't help you. If I do, Bernard will send me away. But you have to. You... Sorry. You need to leave. <sighs> She's not gonna tell us anything, huh? No, and I don't want to push her too far, either. She's been through enough. I suppose we'll just have to look elsewhere, then, eh? What about the people we saw talking to Orpheus in front of the gaming hall? They seem to be rather angry with Bernard. Perhaps one of them might know something useful. I haven't bought a pair yet, huh? Well, I'm trying, but... How many times must I tell you? We are closed. See? Big man here is no being very cooperative. Don't tell me. You said something stupid, and now he won't serve you. What are you on about? I haven't done anything. Look, pal, be reasonable, eh? You can sell us one wee pair of shoes, surely. No, I cannot. I must go and look for my beloved Diana. A poor little thing. What's the matter, sir? Has this Diana gone missing? Yes. The evening meal dissatisfied her, and she ran out of the house. I have not seen her since. I cannot help but fear she will spend yet another night gallivanting hither and thither. Wow. That doesn't sound good. How old is she? She is three. Three? Oh. No wonder you're worried. Okay. You stay right here, and we'll go find her. Can you tell us a little about what she looks like, or what she's wearing, maybe? She has a red collar. A red collar, right. Anything else we... It's a pet. Wait. White fur. Oh. And the most beautiful bright blue eyes. She really is the most wonderful <laughs> cat in the kingdom. <laughs> huh? Uh, hang on. Cat? She's your... 
flipping pet kitty. But she is so much more than a pet to me. She is my dearest friend. She is my life. If anything were to happen to her, I... Well, I... The grief would be too much. I cannot think, let alone work, until I know that she is safe. Whoa, steady on there. It'll be okay. Aye, come on. There's no need to panic. Like my friend here said, we'll find your moggy woggy for you. You will? Of course we will. We'll have her back with you in no time, don't you worry. And then, once that's done, you can give us a pair of shoes to say thanks. The ladies here are falling to pieces, as you can see. You're unbelievable. If you bring my darling Diana back to me, you may have any pair in the shop. It would be my pleasure. All right. Guess we'd better start looking then. Hey, I was wondering if I could ask you about Bernard. Bernard? Hmm. Judging by the look on your face, this is serious. Come with me. It should be safe to talk here. What did you want to know? Well, one of my family's heirlooms, a great treasure, has been stolen, and we may have heard a rumor that it was Bernard who was responsible. Is that so? Well, it certainly sounds possible. You see, he may be the proprietor of the gaming hall these days, but that is not how his career began. He was once a renowned thief, and quite an accomplished one by all accounts. Some say he even stole the building which now houses the gaming hall. It used to be the mansion of an elder by the name of Lupus. Interesting. And if the same rumors are to be believed, he keeps all his ill-gotten gains in that building over there. They say he can be seen going in and out at all hours of the day and night. Has anybody tried to get inside? Well, yes, but they died soon after. A very unfortunate accident. Or a warning to anyone else foolish enough to try the same thing. I like Bernard less and less the more I hear about him. He is dangerous. Please, be careful. There you are. Prince Custer. I have explained my position to Dromid. Bernard's behavior is a black mark on our nation's name. His wicked deeds must be exposed. I hope you will forgive me for using your presence as an opportunity to cleanse my kingdom of wrongdoers, Your Highness. In return, I will, of course, assist you in any way that I can. To that end, I hope that my joining you will smooth your passage through Savalon. Do you have any objections to my accompanying you? Of course not, Your Highness. How could we refuse the offer of a prince's aid? You honor us. The honor is all mine. Now tell me, did you learn any more of the situation? We sure did. So, listen to this. Intriguing. It seems further investigation is in order. Shall we? Gosh, I'm trying to decide if Castor is wrapped up in all this or if he's actually innocent. Let's see here. Building this away. I also want to go to the item shop. Nothing new? Oh, wow. Well, yeah, nothing new. Good people. 
I don't want to hurt you. Please, don't go in there. Sorry, but if you came all this way just to stop us, that means there's something important in there for sure. I... I won't warn you twice. It's gonna be like that, huh? I'm sorry. I am sorry too, Anihal. But we really must see what's inside. If we don't, then it is not only Savalon that will be in danger. It is the whole world. What? I must retrieve the water crystal, Anihal. <laughs>